I was on the outskirts of a little southern town, trying to reach my destination before the sun went down. The old CB was blaring away on channel 19 when there came a little boy's voice on the radio line. And he said, Breaker 19, is anyone there? Come on, bike truckers, and talk to Teddy Bear. Well, I keyed the mic and I said, You got it, Teddy Bear. And the little boy's voice came back on the air. Appreciate the break. Who we got on that end? I told him my handle and then he began. Now, I'm not supposed to bother you fellas out there. Mom says you're busy and for me to stay off there. But you see, I get lonely and it helps to talk. Cause that's about all I can do. I'm crippled and I can't walk. I came back and told him to far up that mic and I'd talk to him as long as he liked. This was my dad's radio, the little boy said, but I guess it's mine and mom's now because my daddy's dead. Dad had a wreck about a month ago. He was trying to get home in a blinding snow. Mom has to work now to make ends meet. And I'm not much help with my two crippled feet. She says not to worry that we'll make it all right. But I hear her crying sometimes late at night. You know, there's one thing I want more than anything else to see. Oh, I know you guys are too busy to bother with me. But, you see, my dad used to take me for rides when he was home. But I guess that's all over now since my daddy's gone. Not one breaker came on the old CB as that little crippled boy talked with me. I tried hard to swallow a lump that just wouldn't stay down as I thought about my boy back in Greenville town. Dad was going to take Mom and me with him later on this year. Well, I remember him saying, someday this old truck will be yours, Teddy Bear. But I know I'll never get to ride an 18-wheeler again. But this old base will keep me in touch with all my trucker friends. Teddy Bear's going to back on out now and leave you alone, because it's about time for Mom to come home. But you give me a shout when you're passing through, and I'll sure be happy to come back to you. Well, I came back and I said, uh, before you go, 1010, what's your home 20, little CB friend? Well, he gave me his address, and I didn't once hesitate, because this hot load of freight is just going to have to wait. I turned that truck around on a dime and headed straight for Jackson Street, 229. And as I rounded the corner, oh, I got one heck of a shock. 18 wheelers were lined up for three city blocks. Well, I guess every driver for miles around had caught Teddy Bear's call. And that little crippled boy was having a ball. For as fast as one driver would carry him in, another would carry him to his truck and take off again. Well, you better believe I took my turn at riding Teddy Bear. And then I carried him back in and put him down in his chair. And buddy, if I never live to see happiness again, I want you to know I saw it that day in the face of that little man. We took up a collection for him before his mama got home. And each driver said goodbye. And then they were all gone. He shook my hand with a mile long grin and said, so long, trucker, I'll catch you again. Yeah, I hit that interstate with tears in my eyes. And I turned on the radio and I got another surprise. Breaker 19 came a voice on the air. Just one word of thanks from Mama Teddy Bear. We wish each and every one a special prayer for you because you just made my little boy's dream come true. I'll sign off now before I start to cry. May God ride with you. Ten four. And goodbye. Well, I pulled out of Pittsburgh, rolling down that eastern seaboard. I got my 
diesel wound up and she's a running like I never before. There's a speed zone ahead with all right. I don't see a cop in sight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. I got me ten forward gears on a Georgia overdrive. I'm taking little white pills in my eyes, I open wide. I just passed a Jimmy in a wine. I've been a past on everything inside. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. But it seems like a month since I kissed my baby goodbye. I could have a lot of women, but I'm not a like of some of the guys. I could find one to hold me tight, but I could never make believe it's all right. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. ICC is the chicken on down the line. Well, I'm a little overweight and my logbook's are way behind. But nothing bothers me tonight. I can dodge all the scales, all right. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Well, my rig's a little old, but that don't mean she's slow. There's a flame from her stack and that smoke's a blowing black as coal. My hometown's a coming in sight. If you think I'm happy, you're right. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Do 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 do. do 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 do. Who is a girl? Nothing but a smile and a towel And a picture on the billboard in the field Near the big old highway Rolling down the highway in my jimmy Hauling freight from Chicago to St. Louis Lord, I see her every day I double clutch and weasel like me Can hardly ever get a girl Look at him, by the way Smiling like the girl Wearing nothing but a smile and a towel And the picture on the billboard in the field smile and towel in the picture on the billboard in the field near the big old highway I bet it wouldn't take a very long to get gone if someone would pull a dirty trick and take her towel away I slow me give it down to 20 that's how many wrecks I see there every day caused by the girl wearing nothing but a smile and a towel in the picture on the billboard in the field near the big old I do 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 I do 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 Oh, I love the girl wearing nothing but a smile and a towel And the picture on the billboard in the field near the big old highway I guess I'm getting bolder cause I'd rather kiss and hold her Than just keep a looking at her every day At 4.45, coffee drinking, eating time, Jimmy Shimmy while I wake up, the artist that painted the display Of the girl wearing nothing but a smile and a towel In the picture on the billboard in the field near the big old highway Doggone that girl wearing nothing but a smile and a towel In the picture on the billboard in the field near the big old highway Sleepy-headed painter said the girl wasn't real Better get the s*** on my way from the billboard to Chicago You'll find tiny pieces of my heart Scattered every which away Shattered by the girl Wearing nothing but a smile and a towel In the picture on the billboard In the field near the big old highway I do 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 Smoking, doing all right. With my hand on the 
wheels my foot on the floor running wide open wouldn't do no more I was looking for state men radar and lady hitchhiking caught a bunch of trucks and there's no passing zone I was scared to pass but I wanted to get home hill around a curve and didn't see no trooper and I was getting up nerve. I got in the left lane, scraping gear, I trying to get in front. I got high gear on Mac a humming and I looked up the road and seen one coming. I had her running by 63 and his eyes lit up like a Christmas tree. I seen him smile as I went by, he had a two-geared plymouth that'd get up and fly. I looked in the mirror and he was coming back and I got on a break of that smoking mag. Trying to slow down, changed my mind, didn't want the front. said the grin, it looked like he done goofed again. I said, Mr. Trooper, if you'll let me alone, I'll crank his mac and go on home. I'll run slow, stay behind, won't try to pass. Said you can come on and go with me and we'll ride on down to the old JP. Bring your driver's license, your bill your phone, your buddies too. I asked that trooper to bar dime and he looked at me like I'd lost my mind. He said you ain't gonna need no phone, you're jailhouse bound. You ain't going home. I got a cute little gal in every eastern town, from Boston to St. Louis. There's some that. I don't even know what I'm looking forward to Cause I like my women everywhere I go So roll on big wheels, now don't you roll so slow Yeah, there's a waiting in Memphis That's a Betty Lou in Maine I got a good old gal in Nashville But man, I forgot her name but not her figure I remember that Yeah, I'm a kiss stealing A wheeling, dealing Drug driving son of a guy Well, there goes Joe a Flying low I'm making up his time But from where I sit I don't believe you'd say I'm wasting mine. I'm moving faster than a Jimmy. If you think I'm a losing time, you're running late. I got a pretty little baby waiting back home for me. But there are six more towns to go Till I'm back in Tennessee And six more women At least I know Yeah, I'm a kiss dealing A wheeling dealing Truck driving son of a girl
It was the dark of the moon on the 6th of June and a Kenworth pulling logs. Cab over Pete with a reefer on and a Jimmy hauling hogs. We was headed for Bear on I-10, about a mile out of Shaky Town. I said, Pig Pen, this here's a rubber duck, and I'm about to put the hammer down. By the time we got into Tulsa town, we had 85 trucks in all. But there's a roadblock up on the cloverleaf, and them bears is wall to wall. Yeah, them smokies was thick as bugs on a bumper, but they even had a bear in the air. I says, calling all trucks, says, here's the duck, we're about to go a hunting bear. Well, we rolled up Interstate 44 like a rocket sled on rails. We tore up all of our swindle sheets and left them setting on the scales. By the time we hit that shy town, them bears is a-getting smart. They brought up some reinforcements from the Illinois National Guard. There was armored cars and tanks and jeeps and rigs of every size. Yeah, them chicken coops was full of bears and choppers filled the skies. Well, we shot the line and we went for broke with a thousand screaming trucks and 11 long-haired friends of Jesus and a chartreuse microbus. Yeah, rubber duck, this is Sodbuster. Uh, come on, yeah, 10 4 Sodbuster. Listen, you want to put that microbus in behind that suicide jockey? Yeah, he's holding dynamite, and he needs all the help he can get. Well, we laid a strip for the Jersey Shore and prepared to cross the line. I could see the bridge was lined with bears, but I didn't have a doggone dime. I says, Big Pen, this here's a rubber duck. We just ain't gonna pay no toll. So we crashed the gate doing 98. I said, let them truckers roll 10-4. Around. 
It's the easiest way that I've found Some guys can turn it on a dime Or turn it right downtown But I need 40 acres to turn this rig around He was driving down the right lane When ahead he saw a sign And he had to make a left turn But he could not get in line And the tears were streaming down his cheeks And they all heard him yell Give me 40 sticks of dynamite I'll hold this thing to give me 40 acres And I'll turn this rig around It's the easiest way that I've found Some guys can turn it on a dime Or turn it right downtown But I need 40 acres to turn this rig around Down 75 or 85 or I 20 the other way. Turn your squelch to the right and in the night you'll hear some good buddy say, Breaker, breaker, got a picture taker. Old smoke is at 43. It's that Japanese toy, the trucker's joy, that everybody calls CB. Yeah, Citizens Band keeps you up to date with fender benders and the Tijuana taxis and all them bears out there flip flop. Ahead of your children and ahead of your wife On the list of the ten best things in life Your CD's got a rate right around number four Of course, beavers and hot biscuits and Merle Haggard Come one, two, three, you know Well, I was loaded down coming out of Lake City I was checking out seat covers, young and pretty When all of a sudden there come a call Over my CB ringing wall to wall Said the clover double nickels as you hit the ridge Cause there's a smoky picture taken up the side of the bridge Oh, mercy, appreciate that, good buddy Now watch your handle there, come on I Got any county mounties out there prowling, come on And he said... Ten four back door, put the pedal to the metal and let it roar. Hammer down to Macon Town, gonna see my mama shore. Where the bears are gone, let's bring it on. The Georgia line's out of sight. Pulled out of Richmond Town last Saturday night And my handle is the White Knight How about it? All right, White Knight, hammer down, you got the mean machine here Was a streak and my needle was a peeking a ride around 79 That old diesel juice was a getting loose and everything was fine But wall to wall I got a call, front door, big bear trapper Said break one nine, good buddy of mine, you got a smoky and a plain white wrapper well, I jammed my stick, I lost 20 quick, you could hear them gears a-tearing. I got pants by a beaver and a Camaro, I was cruising alone, but going so slow, I could count every button on that for really blouse she was wearing. Of course, there wasn't but one. Hey there, Super Trooper. Yeah, that's the crafty Smokey over there with a CB of his own. Hey, White Knight, let's slide one on the Super Trooper, come on. Ten four back door, put the pedal to the metal, what you waiting for? That old white can't stay inside, gonna leave you here and say no more, how about it? Whoa now, old buddy, that's fighting talk. I'd get up there and blow your doors off. Well, I hammered down like I had wings, little gravels in my wheels going ping, ping, ping. About the time I hit 92, saw something flashing in my rear view. Thought to myself, that can't be true, but there it was, oh, blue, blue, blue. Uh-oh, bubblegum machine done hit the jackpot. Well, I could see that bear laughing big, hanging in tight on the back of my rig. Right there and then it came to me wall to wall. Mm-hmm. So in that cold, dark Georgia night, in the shadows of smoky bears, blue light, I decided to make me just one more CB call. Breaker one night for the super trooper. Hey there, smoky old buddy. Tell me if I'm right, or are you my front door? Are you the white knight? Come on. And he said, Ten four. Back door, you're in a heap of trouble, boy, that's for sure. Gonna read you your rights and treat you far. Pull over thar with your rocking char. Won't you boys to know each other real well? Cause you gonna be sharing the same jail cell. If you make 12 cotton pickers I've caught tonight, from the front door of that white knot. How about it? 40 miles over the speed limit. You boys gonna be here a spell. That's it, cotton figures. I've done been grounded. My tail in jail, my rig impounded. So when you're coming through the Georgia night, don't ever get no front door call the white knot. No, sir. Wind up in the pokey with Smokey. I'm gonna pull that old CD thing out by the wire. Well, when I was just a little bitty kid, I remember one time Mama said that he sent you all of his love from Frisco Bay. I didn't understand till I was grown when my daddy didn't spend some time.
shoe Watching it fly by me on the right I got a sweet little thing I'm a want to see in Memphis tonight I'm down around Dallas and roll on south tonight Well I pushed this rig through sleet and rain And I've driven through the rough terrain of the Rockies To the docks of old L.A. On down that old Pacific shore swing north and run for Baltimore Somewhere about 2,000 miles away Whoa, I'm looking at the world through a windshield Watching it fly by me on the right I got a sweet little thing I'm wanting to see in Nashville and I'm down around Dallas and roll on south There's a time to laugh and a time to cry. Time to forgive and a time to forget. Dreams we dream sometimes never die. We carry them on until they become someone else's dream. A friend of mine had such a dream. I met her at a truck stop just outside of Phoenix. We both worked there. Her dream came true, I know. The key to her dream was a little sign that read, Giddy up, go. She was a lovely girl, pretty smile. But behind all this, I could see a troubled mind. She told me when she met the guy that won her heart and made her life a joy. And before too long, more happiness came. A little baby boy. Things wasn't too bad. His job wasn't much, but somehow they got by. And then came the day he drove home a big truck. And the little boy became so overjoyed, just like when he saw his first fall of snow. He kept hollering, giddy up, go, daddy, giddy up, go. Then a dark cloud moved in. A few years later, without warning, after a few visits with her doctor, he said it was just a matter of time. She knew she'd have to move to a drier climate. And this troubled her mind. So without leaving a trace, she took her son and left town one night. She settled here, and we became the closest of friends. We talked from time to time, and she'd smile, and her eyes would glow when she'd tell me about giddy up go. Each time a truck would pull in, I could see her stand and stare. Wasn't long before she had to give up being a waitress here, and she moved on out of town, not too far. We visited almost every week. The boy now's almost grown. He's the image of his dad, she'd say. The most handsomest man I've ever known. The dark cloud once more moved in, and as I stood close by, once again, she told her story. I could see a tear in her eye. I know my son longs for the road. And the last request she had, let him become a truck driver, like son, like dad. The boy soon left town. I never knew for where. But I find myself watching every truck that pulled in around the curve. Giddy up go was the only link that held between the two. And I was hoping that I could be of help. He became a dream to me, too. Just now, I froze in my tracks as I watched two trucks pull in, a big new shiny diesel and an old one following him. I couldn't help staring as they walked in, ordered coffee, and talked a while. Then I saw them leave both wearing such a smile. They walked out to the old truck, brushed off some dirt so the name plate would show. And before my eyes, a little sign that read, Giddy up, go. The 
highways that wind and wander across this lonesome land sure can get weary sometimes, especially when you get a flat on the old easel. I was barreling down old 77 one day and I just passed a hobo who'd given me the thumb. And I gave him the thumb back and kept going. And wouldn't you know it, about a quarter of a mile further, I pulled up on the shoulder with a flat on the right rear. And as I stood there looking at it, shaking my head, uttering some profane syllables, the hobo walked up and said to me, Have a flat? No, thanks, I got one. It ain't too bad, it's only flat on the bottom. Oh, brother, you could tell this guy had been out of circulation for a long time. What you gonna do about it? Well, I was just gonna look for a man to help me fix it. Good, I'll help you look for him. How about you? Yeah, how about me? Well, I mean, how about you giving me a hand? Oh, I'd like to help you, buddy, but I'm too light for heavy work and too heavy for light work. And too lazy. Well, that might fit in there someplace. Well, thanks a lot. I'll fix it myself. And I'll supervise the job. Uh, say, old buddy, how about giving me a dime for a piece of cake? Well, if that don't beat off, and it's cake you want. Well, today's my birthday. All right, help me fix this flat, and I'll buy you a full dinner. Okay, you got a deal, but uh, let me see the menu first. Look, Buster, you know hard work won't kill you. I don't know. I lost several wives that way. Come on now, you look strong enough to work. And you look handsome enough to be a movie star, but I see you're pushing this old diesel. Ah, uh, surely you must have done some work. Oh, yeah, I work now and then. Well, what do you do? This and that. Where about? Here and there. I see. Now, when are you going to give me that dime? Sooner or later. You can kid me if you want to. But I'll tell you one thing. I wouldn't change places with a guy that had a million bucks. Yeah, how about five million? Not even five million. How about ten million? Not even, well, now, nah, that's different. You're talking real dough. Now, look at here. You no good mangy, knock neat, bow legged, ball headed, two bit hobo. Who are you calling bow legged? Now, look, you're going to help me fix this flat, or I'm going to break your. Careful, chum, you'll bend the soup. Now, for the last time, are you, or ain't you? You get so excited. Okay, I'll help you. Let me take a look at that tire. Hmm, just as I thought. That ain't no blowout, just a slow leak. Hand me that tire pump. And friends, if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. That tramp took that pump, and with one hand, mind you, pumped that big tire full of air in no time. Well, what do you know? No flat. Partner, I want to thank you. Hop in the cab, and the next stop we make, I'll buy you the biggest steak and the best cake they've got in the house. Sounds like a winner. Just one thing, though. I noticed you only used one hand on that tire pump. How come? Oh, I don't know, except uh, this arm's broke. Broke? Just a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, old buddy. How did it happen? Well, it was like this. I got a hold of this copy of the Playboy magazine. Yeah. And I thought it was a Sears and Roebuck catalog. Go on. And I broke my arm filling out order blanks. Oh, no. Come on. Let's hit the road.
playing ball or to get the red or blues. Gotta keep these big wheels rolling, I'm coming home to you. I know my baby's waiting, the sweetest ever seen. With big blue eyes that sparkle, she's a truck driver's queen. Ways that wind and wander over mountains and valleys, deserts and plains. I guess I've drove about all of them. Because for the past 25 years now, the cab of a truck has been my home. And it'd be kind of hard for me to settle down and not be on the go. Well, I remember the first truck I drove. I was so proud I could hardly wait to get home to show my wife and little boy. And my little boy was so excited like when he saw his first snow. When he wasn't old enough to say too many words, he just kept hollering, Giddy up go, Daddy, giddy up go. So that's what I named the old truck, Giddy up go. Oh, things wasn't too bad. Of course, I was gone a lot. And after about six years, I got home one day and found my wife and little boy gone. I couldn't find out what happened. Nobody seemed to know. So from that day on, it's been me and old Giddy Up Go. I've made a lot of friends at all the truck stops. And some of them would kid me about my little sign. Of course, they knew where I got the name because I told them about that little boy of mine and how his first word about the truck was giddy up go. Today I was barreling down old 66 when up beside me pulled a brand new diesel rig, both stacks blowing black coal. And as he pulled around and back in front of me, a big lump came in my throat and my eyes watered like I had a bad old cold. A little sign on the back of the truck that read, Giddy Up Go. Well, I pushed old Giddy Up and stayed right on him until the next truck stop where he'd pulled up. I waited till he went in and I offered to buy him a cup. Well, we got to talking shop and I said, how did you come by the name on your truck, Giddy Up Go? Well, he said, I got it from my pop. Dad used to drive a truck. That's what mom talked about a lot. You see, I lost mom when I was just past 16. And I lost all track of pop. Mom said he got the name from me. I shook his hand and told him that I had something I wanted him to see. I took him out to the old truck and brushed off some of the dirt so the name would show. And his eyes got big and bright as he read, Giddy Up Go. Oh, we had a lot of things to talk about, and buddy, I felt like a king. And now we've just pulled back on old 66, and he handled that rig better than any gear jammer that I'd ever seen. Well, now the line's on the highway have got a much brighter glow as we go roaring down the road and we stand at a little sign that reads, Giddy Up, Go. I'm sorry. 
sorry I've another trip to make, dear. So for three more days, you'll be home alone. That endless black ribbon means lonesome in the light of a truck driver's wife. That endless black ribbon means lonesome, but you can change your truck driver's life. Travel this old highway alone, dear. And I'm thinking only of you. My thoughts, my love are always with you. And I hope that you're thinking of me too. Black ribbon means lonesome in the light of a truck driver's wife. That endless black ribbon means lonesome, but you can change your truck driver's life. We was hunting bear for the rocking chair out on I-40, dodging bucks in pickup trucks in West New Mexico. It was a cloudy day and me and old Jay was just about bored to tears, but we come awake when a CB brake come a ringing loud and clear, and we heard this voice that we ain't never heard before, saying, "Brake one nine, I'm CB Savage. Hi, all you eighteen wheelers." Anyone seen any smoky bears? How about some bear smokies? <laughs> CB Savage here. Come on. Well, I looked at Jay and I said, "Hey, did you hear what I just heard?" He nodded his head and his face got red and he never said a word. We both reached for the mic, thinking we might just answer that one nine call. When that CB device come back to life, just a lisping wall to wall. And that unusual voice came on again, saying, "Break one nine again. This is your one and only CB Savage. Mercy sakes, good bodies. Uh, could I please have your twenty? I'd settle for a big ten four. Mercy, mercy. How about a mile post? Listen, you can't keep your hammers down forever, you know. Speak to me, pedal pumpers. How about it?" Well, the box went dead, and we looked straight ahead and didn't say a word at all. We had four in the chair and the door back there, but nobody'd answer that call. A while went by, and Jay and I, we started breathing again. We figured this stranger was plumb out of range when all at once he'd come back in, and it was that same odd voice saying, "Breakers, breakers, any takers? Hi, hi, it's me again." I'm in your chair and I love it there. Say, you truckers really know how to take a person for a ride. Speak to me, you diesel demons. I'd love to get to know your handles. <laughs> CB Savage here. Come on, come on. I grabbed the mic and I held it tight and my hand began to sweat. I looked at Jay and he was grinning away like a big old bird-fed cat. So I put down the talker and turned up the squawker and got a good grip on the wheel. I decided the trucker that answered this duck sure as heck wasn't going to be me. About that time, that weird voice came back on again, saying, "You who break a rule? Hi, hi, you Jim Dandy, Jimmy Jammers, you. Do I ever have a surprise for you? If you listen real close, you'll find my voice is changing." And if you'll start checking your rear views, you'll find you got company. Five plain white smokies dressing up for a ticket writing party. 
Y'all were so busy copying my put on, you didn't notice your little convoy was being infiltrated. You can start shutting them down any time now. This is your CB Savage, the Smokey's friend. Wall to wall and treetop tall. That is all. Bye bye.
This story is about an ex-truck driver being named John James Wall before his friends blackballed him and nicknamed him Pinball. I gathered this story from a truck stop in Gallipolis, Ohio, when this old fella, I'd say 70 years old, asked me to buy him a strong cup of coffee and a piece of good apple pie. I bought the coffee and the pie for the old fella, and I'm awful glad I did, because he winked his eye and smiled and says, my, my. Then I noticed in a few minutes with trembling hands, he pushed a part of his pie and coffee back and looked at me with tears, running down his poor old weather-beaten cheek, and this is what he said. I'm an old hog hauler, I drove a big truck, I shot the pinball machine, but it caused me bad luck. But all I ever made in a pinball machine, I'd get four caddy cornered, then I'd miss the 16. I wish that I'd love them old pinball machines, many weeks they have caused me to live on sardines. She says, John, when can you come home? I've got a load of hogs and they've got to go. I'll see you when I get back from Chicago. She says, John, you know I love you. I wish you wouldn't go. Send your baby some money. They are hungry and cold. The last thing she said, and then she hung up. John, you give up my loving and just to drive an old truck. I made my trip on to Chicago. I was gone two months. Cause I shot up my dough When I got home My family was gone The best friend I had Rung my telephone He says, John, I guess you wonder About your babies and wife Pneumonia got your babies And your wife took her life I can't sleep for bad dreams I dream about an old truck And a pinball machine I never will forget the last words That that old man said Oh Lord, if I could live my life over And then he fell dead They tell me John is a clean-cut young man At the age of 19 But now he's in his grave A victim of a big old truck And a pinball machine I was out on the west coast trying to make a buck and things didn't work out I was down on my luck got tired of roaming and bumming around so I started thumbing back east toward my hometown made a lot of miles the first two days and I figured I'd be home in a week if my luck held out this way but the third night I got stranded way out of town at a cold, lonely crossroads, rain was pouring down. I was hungry and freezing, done caught a chill, when the lights of a big semi topped the hill. Lord, I sure was glad to hear them air brakes come on. And I climbed in that cab where I knew it'd be warm. At the wheel sat a big man. He weighed about 210. He stuck out his hand and said with a grin, Big Joe's the name, I told him mine, and he said the name of my rig is Phantom 309. Well, I asked him why he called his rig such a name. He said, son, this old Mac can put them all to shame. There ain't a driver or a rig a running any line that's seen nothing but taillights from Phantom 309. 
Well, we rode and talked the better part of the night when the lights of a truck stop came in sight. He said, I'm sorry, son, this is as far as you go because I got to make a turn just on up the road. Well, he tossed me a dime as he pulled her in low and said, have yourself a hot cup on old Big Joe. When Joe and his rig roared out in the night, in nothing flat, he was clean out of sight. Well, I went inside and ordered me a cup, told the waiter Big Joe was setting me up. Oh, you could have heard a pin drop. It got deathly quiet, and the waiter's face turned kind of white. Well, did I say something wrong? I said with a halfway grin. He said, no, nah, this happens every now and then. Every driver in here knows Big Joe. But son, let me tell you what happened about 10 years ago. At the crossroads tonight where you flagged him down, there was a busload of kids coming from town. And they were right in the middle when Big Joe topped the hill. It could have been slaughter, but he turned his wheels. Well, Joe lost control, went into a skid, and gave his life to save that bunch of kids. And there at that crossroads was the end of a line for Big Joe and Phantom 309. But every now and then, some hiker will come by, and like you, Big Joe will give him a ride. Here, have another cup, and forget about the dime. Keep it as a souvenir from Big Joe and Phantom 309. I got something kind of special I'd like to say to all you truck drivers out there who might be listening right now. Also, a truck driver's prayer that I'd like to pass along to you, because I think it's kind of special too. But first, now, I got a few things I've been wanting to say to you guys for a long time, and I think right now is a good time to do it. Like, did you know that me and just about everyone in country music who travel a lot have nothing but the highest respect for you, the truck driver? Because it's a fact that some of the best drivers are truck drivers, and the most safety-minded, the most courteous, and the first to stop and help when there's trouble and little things like blinking signal lights to help someone pass. So you just gotta be good people. Like some I've had the pleasure of meeting. Down to earth, hard working family men. And a lot of you like our country music and that makes you okay in my book. Sounds like I'm blowing smoke, don't it? But I'm not. Cause it boils down to this. If everyone would drive like you guys do, there would be a lot less accidents and deaths on the highway. So, truck driver, buddy, you're appreciated more than you'll ever know. And we salute you. Now for the prayer. Now this truck driver's prayer was sent to me by a truck driver from Oklahoma City. He found it at a truck stop, Mary's Cafe in Cairo, Illinois. Now this prayer means a lot to him, and I think it will you too. So if you will, give a listen and see if it isn't your prayer to. Dear God above, bless this truck I drive and help me keep someone alive. Be my mortal sight this day on streets where little children play. Bless my helper fast asleep when the night is long and deep and keep my cargo safe and sound through the hours big and round. Make my judgment sound as steel and be my hands upon the wheel. Bless the traveler going past and teach him not to go so fast. Give me strength for every trip so I may care for what they share. And make me mindful every mile that life is just a little while. Amen. Folks stop at truck stops, they just naturally think they should. 
Cause they figure any place a truck driver eats the food's just got to be good. So they go in there amongst all them truck drivers, sitting around talking low. They're talking about women and stuff like that and how fast them trucks will go. There's the little old place out on 66 where a lot of the drivers stop and get their kicks. Reckless eyeball and his waitress, they got called Flo. There's always a bunch in here hanging out, cutting up and talking about how she wiggles when she walks and stuff like that, and how fast them trucks look up. Watch the wonder fella can sit down and eat his how many eggs or his bread and meat with a good looking woman like that around and on the go. First thing you know, you get to fidgeting and fussing and a nudging one another instead of discussing how she wiggles when she walks and stuff like that and how fast them trucks will go. Well, old Flo, she just takes it all in stride and swells all up with her woman pride. She's tickled plum pink, you come in to see the show. She throws a little old extra wiggle in that walk and you just sit there and grin and talk about homemade loving and stuff like that and how fast them trucks will go. I can't explain how it makes you feel, but you tip her five bucks on a two dollar meal. Get yourself together and start heading out kind of slow. While you're pushing that diesel on down the line, you get to thinking about your woman you left behind, and how she wiggles when she walks and stuff like that, and how fast them trucks are going. Pick up full of kids block both the lanes. Bill hit the air, then he fell, his trailer slide and sway, and the pickup driver made no move to hit him further away. He just had time to think of wonder as he fought the wheel. Then Billy Mac was buried under. Twenty tons of steel One mile for ten Has always been A diesel driver's code well, That's why Billy Slung that widow
Some time ago I was sipping on some coffee and having some ham and biscuits when a motion caught my eye through the truck stop window. It was a little lost puppy, half starved and shaking from fear. Well, I just had to make friends with him. So I picked him up and put him in the cab. And buddy, he took to that truck like he was born there. Well, I named him Little Joe. And as I watched him sleep on the seat beside me, that's when I knew that Little Joe would be with me for a long, long time. Well, a few months later, I was talking to my old friend Teddy Bear on the old CB and not paying much attention to my back door. And little Joe started barking up a storm. I looked up and I saw a Smokey in the mirror and I slowed my rig down just in time. But you know something? Teddy Bear heard little Joe barking and he said, hey, Big Red, let me talk to your partner. And I said, you got it, good buddy. How's the old Smokey situation, little Joe? And little Joe said, Oh, that just tore him up. And the next 200 miles just flew by. Because everybody on that CB wanted to talk to Little Joe. Well, one night we were headed through the Smokies in East Tennessee. And Little Joe started acting real nervous. I heard the sounds of lightning on the old CB. And suddenly we were in the worst storm that I'd ever seen. All at once I saw headlights coming straight at my rig. Someone was blinded in the rain. So I swerved fast and just barely missed a camper full of kids. But the shoulder gave way and we crashed over the side of the mountain. And when I woke up, my truck was on fire and I couldn't move. But somehow, little Joe grabbed me by the collar and pulled me away from that burning rig. Well. I was in the hospital the next time I woke up and the doctor was there to break the bad news. The accident had taken my sight. Oh God, now I can't even drive. And that's when I realized how helpless Teddy Bear must have felt before the miracle happened that made him walk again. And then I thought, well now, wh wh where's little Joe? No, no, ain't nobody said anything about little Joe. Where's, oh. I was so sad because I figured little Joe had given his life to save me. Well, my brother asked me to come live with him. And when he opened the door to my new room, I heard an old CB just a blaring away. Well, I couldn't wait to grab that mic. And the first voice I heard was my old buddy Teddy Bear, ratchet jawing in the distance. So I broke for him and he came right back to me. Why, it was almost like old times again. Teddy Bear was a yakking away, unloading all the latest news on me and getting louder and louder. But all of a sudden, the sound of an engine seemed to drown Teddy Bear out. And I said, hey, what's going on? Teddy Bear said, open your front door, good buddy. I'm just outside. Lord, the roar of engines seemed to rock the house. And all around me, I could hear familiar voices and slamming doors. Oh, I couldn't hold back the tears. All my friends were there. And then I heard something I couldn't believe. Little Joe, that bark, why well, it had to be Little Joe. And no sooner than that, he was all over me. And I put my arms around my old partner and the tears were streaming down my face. And then I felt something strange. Little Joe hadn't worn a collar before and attached to the collar was a handle. A hush fell over my friends. And I realized, Lord, my new eyes were standing at my feet. Little Joe. I drive a big freight liner and I make a last payment today. And I drive to all points out of New York City to L.A. Well, the little woman smiles when I pack up to leave her. I'll soon be back, but I just got the fever. She's a believer. I got the freight liner fever. There's a railroad a-running by the highway out in Santa Fe. And I passed an old freight train a-making his run the other day. 
Merle Haggard said to his fireman, so pale, he's a blowin' this a freight train off of the rail. He got the fever, fever. He's got the freight liner fever. Well, Pierce said, rid of what you can in that cigarette pack. I said, I got my second driver, and he's gonna drive all the way back. It's a big black pill, so long and round to a driver. It's a West Coast turn around. It's for the fever, fever, that old freight liner fever. Well, I passed Dave Dudley up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I passed Del Reeves down in Shreveport, Louisiana. Dick Curtis got a hung on a hill up in Maine. I pulled him on over with my 40 foot chain. He got the fever. Fever. He's got the freight line of fever. I've been a passing everything from a Jimmy to a Greyhound bus. I'm gonna spend a few days out on the West Coast to end my run. In old Giddy up go and a little bit of luck. I'm gonna pass a Red Simpson in his runaway truck. He's got the fever. Fever. He's got the freight line of fever. Oh, if there's cigarette, what you can in that cigarette pack. I said, I got my second driver, and he's gonna drive all the way back. It's a big black pill, so long and round. To a driver, it's a West Coast. Turn around, it's for the fever. Fever. That old freight line of fever. Oh, out on this road, you pass a lot of them old country boys. I seen Carl Smith, Charlie Pride, Ernest Tubb, Bill Monroe, Conway Twitty, Waylon Jennings, seen Dave Dudley, George Jones, Porter Wagner, Bill Anderson, Farron Young, Stonewall Jackson.